When you start a new project in Illustrator, there are a lot of ways to begin. You can create a new document from scratch, start from a template, and a lot more. In this video, you'll start a new project by creating a new document. With the latest version of Illustrator CC open, you may see this start screen, which shows when there are no documents open. In the start screen, you can open existing files and create new files. Whether the start screen is showing in Illustrator or not, you can always go to the file menu at the top of the screen to open existing documents or to create a new document. To start a new document from scratch, choose File, New. The New Document dialog box appears. Yours may look a little different than what you see here, and that's okay. In this dialog box, you can start by choosing a preset option like Print, Web, or Mobile. When starting a new document, you may need to answer a few questions that may help you decide which preset to choose. Questions like, am I going to print this? Or maybe, is what I'm creating meant to go on a website? Since you'll create a document for a poster that's meant to be printed, click Print to show a series of print presets for a print document. By choosing this print preset, you're setting several options to start with, like colors used and the units set. After you choose a preset like Print, there are a lot of preset sizes to begin with when you start a new document in Illustrator, even clicking View All Presets to see more. Select Tabloid and know that if you choose a preset like Tabloid, you can always change the size and all other options later after the document has been created. There are also a series of templates found in the New Document dialog box available from Adobe Stock. These templates can be a great way to learn how Illustrator projects are built and can also be used as a way to jumpstart a project for a client, for instance. On the right side of this dialog box, you'll see a series of options you can set. Most of the time, we won't have to set all these options, but let's look at the options you'll set most. Click to highlight the name and change it to poster. You don't have to change the name here, but when you save the document later, this name becomes the name of the file. Click points and from the menu, choose inches. These are called the document units. Later, when you want to measure something or look at a ruler, this is the measurement unit you'll see. You can customize the width and height of the document if you want to, and you can also change the orientation by clicking one of these options. Click landscape so the document is in a landscape orientation. You can also create a series of artboards, which are similar to pages in a program like Adobe InDesign, but you can also do that after the document is created. There are a lot of other options you can set to fine tune the document before you get started. You'll definitely become more familiar with these options the more you work in Illustrator. For now, click Create to create the new document and open it in Illustrator. Choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. Once the new document is open in Illustrator, you can change the document settings you first set, like the units, by clicking the Units menu in the Properties panel to the right of the document. To change the size of the artboard, you can click Edit Artboards to enter artboard editing mode. You can then choose a preset page size from the menu in the Properties panel, change the orientation, and more. To stop editing these artboard settings, you can click the Exit button in the Properties panel to exit artboard editing mode. Creating new documents in Illustrator will most likely be something you'll do a lot. There are a lot of options to explore when you set up a brand new document, but when getting started in Illustrator, keep it simple and know that you can edit document settings like the artboard size later on the more familiar you become with them. Save this document by choosing File, Save. Choose a place to save the document and ensure that Adobe Illustrator is selected for the file type. Notice that the name of the file is Poster. You can change it if you want. Click Save and then click OK.